All right, guys, Mr. Antonucci here. And in this example, we want to find the difference quotient of each function. So we'll start with function f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x. So if you recall, the difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Sometimes it's helpful to find the f of x plus h first. So if we did f of x plus h, that's going to be 2 times x plus h h squared minus 3 times x plus h. Um, x plus h squared, you would have to write that as x plus h times x plus h and then FOIL it and then distribute the 2. So when you FOIL that, you would get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, then minus 3x minus 3h. Distribute your 2, so 2x two squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h. All right, at this point, there are no like terms to combine. So this just gives us the f of x part, or f of x plus h part. So we have 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h minus the f of x function, which is 2x squared minus 3x. Make sure we put that in parentheses because you're subtracting that whole quantity all over h. Now, we can cancel out some terms here. So the 2x squared, the 2x squared cancel, the minus 3x, and this minus 3x will cancel because you're subtracting a negative, which is going to add it. So the terms that remain are 4xh, 2h squared and minus 3h right here. All of that's over h. If you notice, each term in the numerator has an h, so we could factor that out and get h times the quantity 4x plus 2h minus 3 all over h. And now these h's cancel, and the whole problem simplifies the 4x plus 2h minus 3. And you might be wondering why on earth we would do this. This is a stepping stone to being able to do more advanced uh, topics and concepts in calculus. So the difference quotient is, is very important, as you'll see as you progress through the course. Now, let's do the uh, second example here. Let me clear this off. We have the square root of x in this case. So we have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. In this case, when you plug in x plus h, there's not really anything to simplify. You just have square root of x plus h. So I'm not going to do the f of x plus h on the side, uh, minus square root of x all over h. Now, in this case, um, there's nothing to really simplify here, except that we do need to rationalize the numerator. So what we do is we multiply by x plus h plus the square root of h, or square root of x rather, which is called the conjugate. Conjugate is um, when you have a binomial and the conjugate of the binomial is you just change the sign in between the two of them, okay? Now, the denominator we're just gonna leave is h times square root x plus h plus square root x. And the numerator, really, we're gonna foil these out. When you foil this, the firsts, you get x plus h, because square root x plus h times square root x plus h would be square root x plus h quantity squared. Square and the square root cancel each other out. Now, the outers and the inners are going to be the same thing, except they're opposites. So they're going to end up canceling. And this is part of the reason why we do conjugates. And then the last is going to be square root of x squared, um, and that's going to be subtracted. So it'd be minus x. Now the x's in the numerator cancel, and you would have h over h times the square root of x plus h minus square root of x. The h is canceled. Now be careful here. The numerator needs a 1, because h divided by h is essentially 1. You don't just get rid of the numerator. I've had students do that before, and um, I can understand why, because everything canceled out in the numerator, or maybe you just made a careless error. but Beware that the numerator, if everything cancels out, still needs a 1 as a placeholder for the numerator. 
All right, and that's our answer, one over square root x plus h minus square root of x. All right, hope that was helpful to you guys. Take care.